Tonight, neighbors and friends are still asking questions about three Huber Heights people found dead in an apartment. A vigil held for them tonight they say was a source of comfort. Two News reporter Judith Rattana is in Huber Heights with our continuing coverage. Tonight, friends and family are talking to us about the victims as we learn to confirm their identities with the Montgomery County Coroner's Office. In the name of Jesus, one, two, three, let it go. Balloons are released into the sky after three people are found dead in an apartment. Even more people asking how it could have happened. Candles in hand, they're leaning onto each other for strength. I've been knowing her ever since she was a little girl. For them, all these people to be out here tonight, it really should tell you something about Nabu. Just one day earlier, police were called about a strong smell coming from this unit. Neighbors noticed flies inside the window, and the cars hadn't moved for weeks. Now, friends are working hard to support the mother of one of the victims. She will find out who, what happened. Even though if they don't find out, God will show her. It's a comfort to be around people who cared. She's going to be really missed for, for those who out there that knew her, that really truly know her. She was fun. She was alive at a party. The coroner and police are both working to confirm an exact cause of death as well as how the fire started. The fire chief did tell us there were fire alarms in the home, but it's unclear if they ever went off. In Huber Heights, Judith Hartana, 2 News, working for you.